I'm definitely in. No, the hand feels pretty good. I've taped it up, as you can see. Um, I'm wearing an inner glove and it all feels fine. We're just shaking the car down at the moment. There's a few niggly little problems that we've got to iron out, but uh, you know we'll, we'll get on top of it in the next practice session and and uh, throw some tyres at it later on in the day. Yeah, like it's not even an issue. It's not even a, a hint of an issue. I haven't taken any painkillers or anti-inflammatories today. I'm. Uh, it's, you know, it's the rawest it's going to be and uh, as the weekend progresses obviously the wounds are healing up every day and I reckon it'll be, um, it'll be fine in, uh, in the 200k race on Sunday. I mean it's not often you get to jump in a race winning car and uh, you know the team BRC, you know, when I left obviously uh, in November when I was diagnosed I knew the, the team was on, you know, going places, it really was having some strong results and uh, nothing more painful than watching it on the, on the TV, uh, the, the teams win. Uh, you know, I'm torn because obviously there's a big part of me in that car, there's a big part of the team, there's my part of my family almost and uh, you know it's a wrap for Brody to get that win and, and for Barks to be on the podium and I knew that's what we we're going to do and uh, to, see it, to be sitting there watching it but at least I get to have a drive that that race winning set up just then and uh, it's a very nice car. You know, you know why I'm doing this, I'm doing this for, for my mental treatment. I, I've had a pretty tough last three weeks uh, with how, how, you know, how things have been going internally. Um, and uh, I've come back from the States with um, you know, some more ammo to fire at this cancer. Um, and, but you know, the, the mind's been taking a bit of a hammering. So this is an opportunity to, to, to escape again. And you know, really, is, it puts a smile on my face, as you can see, and, and sort of brings me back to an upbeat sort of mood. And, you know, and then to drive a really nice car is just a bonus. Well, uh, the, the concept was great. And then, but uh, the success of the Bid for Jace auction has been amazing. Uh, you know, I was watching the Formula One and uh, and here's Mark Webber, you know, saying some really nice things about me and, and donating the wishbone with all the Formula One champions and with a whole grid of, uh, of Turkish Grand Prix on it. And I thought, you know, what an amazing prize for someone to get. And, you know, like, it's really shown me, you know, that, that from people bidding on the things to people delivering, you know, items for the auction, it's gone a lot wider than, you know, my community. I saw there's a Tiger Woods signed hat where he donated with Steve Williams. So, just, you know, it's gone much bigger than, than I ever thought it would do and um, it's very touching and, uh, you know, it's just nice. I was walking down pit lane, I'm, I'm racing the Ferrari again this weekend and I was walking between the two garages and, and uh, you know, all the fans coming after me, wishing me the best, giving me a big cuddle. It's, it's been amazing.